Welcome to Gord Field in Detroit Rock, Michigan. Nice town, isn't it, Bricks? Well, by nice, you mean a town that would welcome you by cold cocking in the head with a vacuum cleaner and stealing your luggage in the middle of a motel check-in and throwing you off the bridge into a polluted lake while enjoying your morning walk to the stadium? Then yes, Grim, very nice town. Couldn't be lovelier. Remember, in the NFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The Atlanta Vultures take on the Motor City Maniacs. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, okay, back camp. Come on, I got the get him out. Get him out. Get him out. If the sound of a torn Achilles followed by laughter and taunting brings a smile to your face, you are tuned to the right place. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow and the MFL crew is coming to you live on game day. Bricks, any uh, thoughts on today's game? Um, I thought I had one, but uh, I think I might have forgotten it. Oh, I remember. Uh, I forgot who's playing today. Careful what you ask for, Grim. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot Sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot one. Hey. You're like a monkey trying to... It looks like the coach is ripping that play from the playbook. What a dud. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot two. He hit that line the way a Republican congressman hits the. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. And that's a pass that went nowhere. Oh, that's like, oh man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. Yeah, but... Idiot. The 
offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. First down and three. And Chainsaw throws the red zone. scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. Oh, and the ball falls to the ground. That's incomplete. He needs to throw it when a receiver can catch it. What's he doing? And uh, groundbreaking analysis as always there, Bricks. Well, uh, thank you. I do my part. He should go to lost wages. The ref that just called that penalty, he was convicted of marrying old ladies and stealing their savings. That sounds like a good job. He's right at home here, taking money from coaches, players, and fans. I even saw him swipe the money from the bathroom attendant. Yeah, who don't do that? First down and six. Interception. Uh, oh, with a brutal hit. Hey, yeah, uh, Briggs, check the rule book. Is that a penalty? Why would I have the rule book? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> First down and three. Defense has enough of this BS and jumps offside to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. <laughs> the 
best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Hey, kids, do you remember getting shoved in a locker because you wore gloves? He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So was that cheerleader. Second down and ten. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must... Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Quarter one comes to an end. If they don't get it together, this game is going to turn into a rout. And it's first and ten. Now I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just pow with the brain scrambler. Shots like that over your career? Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And it's first and ten. I, I I At this point, with multiple interceptions. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite thing because he's the one who just got wiped out. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Especially since they're fake. 
Go to darting tricks and hit a dad ref. It feels good. And this is a person. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down in a mile. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham a sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, I'm still working on my salami here, Briggs. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, nah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And he just wrestles away from him. And he finds open space. He's running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. I've never seen a demon smile so much. He says his secret is that he's poisoned the minds of a thousand men. <laughs> Whatever works, I guess. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Nine, nine, one, nine. The no dirty trick is always good for an easy kill. Second down and ten. Nine, nine, one, nine. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Sounds of bone snapping like that, Grim? You assume the worst. I assume that it was even worse than what you may have assumed. I assume you're right. Yeah! And it's first and ten. Oh, a great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand. A man from prison just came out of the field. It's the ref, idiot. Oh. Let's see what the penalty is. First down and five. And the ball hits the field incomplete. He threw it when no one could catch it. Some things like that in the quarterback. Second down and five. The quarterback had no time to throw, and the defense gets a big sack. for three yards. Well, I want Sean Kick to make a kick like this with his extra leg. He used it like a golf club. That wasn't a leg, you mark. And it's good. You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good, huh? I mean, can't we all just... Not this shit again. Bricks, I'm stopping it right there. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. 
get hit in the head with a bulldog grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. At this rate, the QB is going to have more energy. Oh, he just got crushed. First and ten. And he just slipped away like a green. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. Put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. The offense is running low on running backs. They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. First and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him? Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. That's another turnover for the deep. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. He did it. He scores. And with that amazing run, he bursts through the end zone for six. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. And we're at the two-minute warning. I got a pee. Second and three. Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got dead mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to fight it. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to flop it, man. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And it's first and ten. is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. <laughs> the offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing-only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it. First 
first and two. And with Howe with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. There's a bloody red head on the field. Now that's their red penalty marker, Briggs. Yeah. Looks like this one's coming back. The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. That ball was almost intercepted. Oh, my God. A man from prison just came out of the field. That's the ref, you idiot. Let's see what the penalty is. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Oh, well, sure. Now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I know so much money on him. Not to mention. Smart move there. Stopping the clock with their first time out. Yeah, for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalo. At this rate, the QB's going to have... One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten. <laughs> And the D takes their second time out, hoping for a miracle. I witnessed a miracle once. A player was brought back from the dead. That's not a miracle, partner. That's just how the MFL works. Remember, folks, in the MFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback, just like that. <laughs> the defense takes its final timeout. They can't stop the clock anymore, so they'll need to stop the offense. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Yeah, I'm still working on my salami here, Briggs. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. The offense is losing quarterbacks faster than teams lose their minds at spring break. They're down to their last QB before they have to forfeit. Man, are these guys greedy or desperate? Either way, they're going for two. And perfect pass for two points. That's a piece of art right there, Bricks. Yeah, man. The QB turned the defense into an abject mess. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. Field in front of him. Boom to the moon. 
Another loser bites the dust. In the MFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. The 10. Holy mother of mutant mayhem, he scored! If you pay close attention, kids, you'll see his steps are making a perfect pentagram. Some of your own demons at home. <laughs> The offense lost their last quarterback. Next time their offense comes out on the field, they will have to forfeit the game. And here comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just... The Motor City Maniacs get their butts whipped and lose by forfeit. It's probably a good thing the game ended up in forfeit. They weren't going to make it out of the stadium alive with this performance anyway. The fans were going to kill them if the opposition didn't. Gotta love that fan passion. Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say about this carnage. I'd rather listen to Sarah Palin read the entire works of Shakespeare while tripping my brains out. Uh, actually, that sounds kind of fun. <laughs> Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League.